All right, everybody, this morning I'm in Reedsville, North Carolina. I'm going to be taking you through another Heartland series plan. This is the Heartland 4, which is a 1327 square foot, uh, two module home. So what that tells you is that front porch is an optional site built front porch. You can go big, small, whatever. You're looking at a site built optional you know, a uh, two car garage there. Um, remember that garages can be put on any plan, really anywhere you want to put them, any size. Um, it works out really good in this particular plan because the customer um, has a nice side loading utility room. So I'll show you that once we get in there. But again, this is the Heartland 4, 1327 square feet. It is 27 foot, eight inches deep and 48 foot across. It is the smallest um, Heartland plan of the family, the Heartland 4. 1327 square foot, consists of an optional site-built front porch. Obviously, um, this is a ranch plan that I'm gonna be taking you through today, but I will say any of the Heartland plans can be converted into the Cape option as well. And basically, just remember that the Heartland series is designed to be a little bit more cut and dry on, you know, floor plan changes as far as moving interior, interior walls. But, you know, I always tell everybody, all your options are, sti are, uh, are still there. For example, the vertical siding, um, the double front door, which this customer went with up, um, up here. Um, you can still, you know, do whatever you want to with your porches and your garages and your back decks and all that. But um, it, it is a little more cut and dry on the floor plan, but again, it is going to be more price point aggressive. Um, so what you got up here is a nice little six by 10 uh, front porch here. Got the open crow foot up there. Final wrap pickets and posts complemented by the double front door, similar to the ones we show on the Greenbrier on our model at the lot. So here is your living room. Another example of options in the Heartland series, you know, the exposed beams are still an option. The barn door is still an option, or barn doors in general. But this is your living room here. Which opens up to the kitchen. So all of the Heartland plans from big to small um, kind of consist of this general kitchen layout. There are obviously some options as far as cabinet colors, countertop material, um, what you do with the appliances and all that. But um, this kitchen comes from the Logan. So if you ever come to our, our lot, uh, the Red House, the Red Logan, um, this is uh, or the Heartland series kitchen is based off of that kitchen pretty much. There's your dining space there. So the Heartland series starts you with a single window there. You've seen other Heartland plans where they've optioned in a sliding glass door there. You can do an atrium door there. You can do a French door there, or you can stay with the window. The window is what is included. So as of a few, uh, as of like a month ago, maybe two months, um, we had always just had one standard range hood, um, which we show, I've shown in a lot of other videos. Now you have the option between this range hood, which I think this is the first time I've shown you, or the glass. So instead of this being stainless steel, it's just a glass, um, you know, uh, canopy type thing there. Um, that is your secondary, 
um, included option there for the range hood. I think it's the first time I've shown that. These are your graystone cabinets. These are a $500 upgrade for the entire home. And then this customer went with the sparkling quartz countertops that we show in our Salem lot model. Um, to add quartz to a kitchen of this size, you're looking at about um, somewhere near $4,000, maybe a little less. Off the kitchen, you've got this awesome walk-in pantry. with the built-in appliance shelf. So if you stay with the range hood there and you don't want the microwave on the shelf, you can do the appliance shelf with the outlet there for 150 bucks um, and keep that microwave kind of hidden. Looking back at the living room. Little coffee bar area there. The full ceramic backsplash, probably about uh, 1400 bucks to do the backsplash. You can pick between 12 inch tiles and six inch tiles. Those are the 12 inch. Here's the floor plan. So again, um, 1327 square foot. This is the, so there's obviously different variations of all the Heartland plans, but on this Heartland 4, this is the standard floor plan. So you've got one bedroom, two bedrooms, a side loading utility room, your kitchen and dining, master bath, all that. So this is a two bedroom plan with a nice side loading utility room. The one big change you can make is basically taking this utility room and putting it where the pantry is now, using this space as the utility room, adding an exterior door, and then utilizing this space for a third bedroom or office or secondary den. So what they basically do is they're gonna make your dining space a little bit smaller, so they're gonna move this wall into this area. Use all of this to make that third bedroom or office or whatever, and then move the utility room to this pantry area. <clears throat> now, the bathroom as well, or they went with the standard layout in the bathroom as well, with the 60 inch shower and the linen closet. They did make the shower ADA friendly, you know, wheelchair accessible and all that. But in general, the 60 inch shower and the linen closet is your standard layout. You can go to a four by six shower. So the much larger shower and you can do a water closet at that point, or you can go all the way to the four by eight shower, or you can do the 60 inch shower and a tub. So just remember that it's not just this, what I'm showing you today. You can do a 60 inch tub and or 60 inch shower and tub, 60 inch shower with the linen closet. Like you'll see today, you can do the four by six shower or the four by eight shower, but the included layout is the 60 inch shower and the linen closet. Okay. Bath two. Bedroom two.
Notice the luxury vinyl plank flooring throughout. So that tells me this customer paid extra to run the flooring in the bedrooms as well. Here's the hallway leading to that side loading utility room. Great utility room, one of the better ones you will find. This customer optioned in the utility room sink. So that is an example of your optional utility room sink there. You have, you have other options in here. You can do a, um, a cubby bench like we show in some of our models. You can do the utility room sink. And then this is your uh, two car garage here. Got an exterior door here, going out into the backyard. Nice little fenced in area for her dog. Going back in the house and going over to the master bedroom. Here's that master bedroom. I mean, to be 1327, this is a really nice size master bedroom. Here's your master closet, same thing here. Really nice walk-in closet. and then your master bath. So like I said earlier, the Heartland series plans are gonna start you with a double vanity. They're gonna start you with a linen closet there, a window there, and a 60 inch shower here. Obviously, like I said, you've got options as far as tubs and showers and doing larger showers. I do get a lot of questions about the ADA um, showers there. So just remember that that's an option as well. You got the fold out uh, bench, you got the grab bars. Um, seeing a lot of those. Here's that linen closet. This customer also went with the nine foot ceilings. Some of her big items would be the garage, obviously, the front porch addition, the nine foot ceilings, the flooring throughout, the quartz countertops. Those were some of her heavy hitters for sure. But all in all, I mean, what a, what a great plan. Um, just remember the Heartland series comes as small as 1327 and as big as 2089. One's all in between 16, 18, 15, 1600 square feet. So, and just remember they're designed to be a little bit more cut and dry, um, but they're gonna be, you know, more price point driven, more affordable, more bang for your buck. So keep that in mind if you got any questions or wanna um, take the next step on getting you one of these homes, get in touch with me at 336. 226-9066. My name is Shields. Email is Shields, S-H-I-E-L-D-S, at nccustommodulars.com. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.